Hi, I'm Dr. Keetna, pursuing PG in MD Anesthesiology, Chetanar Hospital and Research Institute. As aspiring PG students in medicine, we are on the brink of an immersive experience, a program designed to hone our skills in ICU emergencies. Through lifelike simulations, we'll gain the expertise to navigate critical scenarios, fostering adaptness in resuscitation, teamwork and quick thinking. This journey primes us to evolve into proficient and confident physicians. Today we will see a cardiac arrest simulation in the ICU. Let's get into the scenario. A patient has experienced cardiac arrest in the ICU, intensive care unit and medical professionals are required to perform CPR and utilize other methods to save the patient's life. And these are my co-PGs, Dr. Venkat, Dr. Jasim, Dr. Vinay and Dr. Venila pursuing PG in MD Anesthesiology, Chetirada Hospital and Research Institute. Thank you for joining this emergency simulation. Today we will be dealing with a critical situation that requires prompt and coordinated action. Our patient in the ICU has just experienced a cardiac arrest. As you can see, we have a medical mannequin here that will help us simulate the scenario. Let's begin. Yes, can you give the shock? Yes, sir. Kitana, let's not delay the shock. Let's give the first shock. Deliver. Okay, first shock given. Resume compressions. Okay, can you charge the defect, Dr. Kishore? Charge the defect? Yes. Has the, has the leads gone into a paddle mode? No, right? No, can you just... Uh, and then uh, can you increase the gains, Dr. Vinay? Can you increase the Vinay, uh, Venkat? Can you increase the gains and see? No, it is asystolic. Continue CPR. Don't give the shock. Yes, Continue CPR. Don't give the shock. And you can... Dr. Vanilla, can you give 1 mg of epinephrine IV push again because patient is in asystole at this moment and we have also started TTM that is targeted temperature management by applying ice packs in both the axillas and the groin and uh, so that the neurological outcome will be good. At the same time we have taken care of the airway and breathing by starting the mechanical ventilation. Excellent job everyone, we have managed the situation effectively. This simulation highlights the importance of teamwork, communication, quick response in critical situations. Take some time to debrief and discuss what went well and what could be improved.